Österai is going to Eurovision 2022 with Lumix featuring Pia Maria, that's fabulous names, with Halo. But will it be saying Halo to the final? Let's review Eurovision. So Halo is going to Turin by Lumix and Pia Maria. Austria have had a fairly middling few years. They had their win with Conchita, obviously, in 2014, and then got zero points the next year. They then finished a completely, completely nonsensical third in 2018 with Cesar Samson and Nobody But Wrong, you. wrong. That is a great song. That it is, is not. Song. It's awful. Wrong. It is. How did that win the jury vote? How did... You have no appreciation, Jack. I have appreciation. It's just shit. And it didn't, I mean, it was, it was nice, but no. Well, the music professionals in this world would disagree, wouldn't they? Well, music professionals were on something that night because there was, I, I, how? It didn't even do well in its semi final. It didn't even, I think it finished third with the juries in its semi final. How did it go from third in its semi to winning the jury vote in the final? Answer me that, madam. I cannot account for that, but all I know exactly. is it was a great entry. Anyway, anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Suspicious is what I'll say. And then last year they had Amen. It was just, it was one of the two songs called Amen. Both of them were fairly crap. But this year they've gone upbeat. The first time they've gone upbeat in quite some time. That's what they have to offer. Emily, are you liking what's on the table? I am liking what's on the table. I think it's really, really fun. Um... I think it's quite interesting. I, how often do we see like a, a DJ and then a featuring artist at Eurovision? Not not that often. And usually it's kind of, they don't do so well when we do have it. But this, I'm I'm fairly excited by it. It's really fun. For me, it sounds like something you hear in like a spin class um, where you're kind of bopping away on the bank. But, um, yeah, I'm a big fan of this one. My one concern is that I have seen a, a preview of a live performance where the vocals were, let's say, not good, um, which makes me kind of slightly concerned um, for the kind of theatrical competition. But for me, it's it's really fun. And I I really, yeah, I'm I'm quite a fan of this one. I was pleasantly surprised. It's 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 incredibly cheesy in terms of what actually, you know, if you're going to talk about what actually makes up a good song, it includes essentially nothing that would actually make kind of a good song and the lyrics are they meaningful no not particularly you know it feels it feels a bit dated you know like it came out of kind of like the early 2010s but you know we all love a bit of nostalgia and for me it's it's a yeah I'm a big fan of this one mm -hmm. yeah just to counter before we hear from James um just to, uh, the the Austrian team have said that the reason for those quite dodgy vocals um, at two pre pre party performances were because she had COVID, quite a nasty case of it apparently, and has sort of affected her vocals. She has performed it since, and it was better. So hopefully by by Turin, things will have improved. But that is according to the Austrian team, at least, why the vocals were quite questionable. We'll see. James, your thoughts. You know, Austria have actually got a really good track record within Eurovision. Um, you know, likes of Conchita and performance like that. They're really, really good at Eurovision. They know what they're doing and coming into it, I think they have that sort of level of expectation that people, you know, want at Eurovision. They really go above and beyond to stand out. And I think this year they've done it again. Halo, one of my favourite songs of this year's lineup. you know, like we've said already, there are not that many this year that are actually really, really good. This one is for me, you know, it's a great song. One of my sort of favourite styles of music. It's quite clubby, but it's catchy and actually really, really good. And the type of song, if it comes up on my Spotify, I want to keep listening to it. And that's why I really, really enjoy it. It feels fresh for Eurovision, I think. It's something a little bit different. We've got those sort of styles that we're used to for Eurovision, but at the same time, we've also got a lot of sort of new style music, if that makes sense. And it's like, you know, like I was sort of saying that really touched upon, it's music that I would listen to outside of Eurovision. And I think when you have a song that does that, that's what's key, because that's what sort of sets a piece apart. And that's why I'm like, well, yeah, yeah, you know, I would listen to that. That's really good. And that's why I sort of really like so much about this. So yeah, overall, really love it. It's going to be great for the show, I think. It's going to get loads of people behind it. And I think as well, it'll do really well in terms of getting the leaderboard and get quite high as well. Could, could possibly be a bit of a winner, shall I say that? I don't know. But 
I think it's very much a contender for the top of the leaderboard. So very, very positive reviews there from James. I am, I'm very, very pro it. I'm not quite as enthusiastic as you two um, because it's in, in all honesty, for the first two weeks after I started listening to it, I didn't make it to the end of the song. I got about halfway through and I was like, okay, I get it. Like, and then moved on. And I would always, I, I don't think I heard the end of the song for the first two weeks. Eventually, I, there was one day where I was like, oh yeah, I get this. And I started listening to it quite a lot and I listened to it all the way through. So I think it's, it's it, it has got the fun factor. It's very early 2010s, as you say, Emily. It's, it, it is, but it's completely meaningless. <laughs> like, let me be your halo. I mean, what? <laughs> What does that mean? Like, it, it, I don't really know. And just, I, I would echo your concerns as well, because when, about the, the whole the DJ singer dynamic, Poland's 2018 is the iconic, is, is the epitome of how it can go wrong. As long as Lumix doesn't do that sort of really cringy, drunk dad at a wedding sort of dance that made the whole of Europe like cringe to death, um, then I think it's, 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 just, it's bound to do better than Poland 2018. Again, I hope the vocals do sort themselves out a little bit because as it stands, the juries are, are going to not enjoy this at all. But I think this is, without doubt, Austria's best entry since Conchita, definitely. Um, and I'm, I'm I'm glad that they've, they've gone for something a little bit different. This is not the type of thing Austria sends. So I'm glad that they're glad that they're bringing it. So Austria is performing 13th in at the first semi-final. Denmark on one side and they've got Iceland on the other. So two quite different songs to this on the, the sandwich in between them. How do we think it's going to do? Where does it sit on our rankings? Emily, you first. So I think, like you just kind of said, the jury's going to hate it. They're going to absolutely. So I think basically if it's going to get through to the final, it's going to be on the public vote. And that means that her vocals kind of have to stand up um, and kind of be up to scratch. Um, for me, because, you know, all I've heard is you know, the kind of pre-wrecked version. Um, for me, it's my number seven. I'm, I am I thoroughly enjoy this entry. You know, if I if I go on a spin bike, this is the kind of thing I want to be hearing. Um, so I think I think on balance, it probably should make the final, um, providing kind of they don't do a Poland and... Uh, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, for me, yeah. I quite like this one. I hope I hope it makes the final. I think in the final, it'll probably won't do so well um, if it does get through. But but as far as I'm concerned, it should make that set. Alrighty then, I'll go next then. Um, for me, it's my number twelve um, because yeah, it's it it's 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 really really good. But it it did take me a bit of time to get there, and it's a little bit nonsensical, and it's a little bit generic. But I I do really like it when it's on. I enjoy it, so that's that's always a good sign. Will it qualify? I'm going to tentatively say yes, but it will disappoint in the final. I'm pretty sure of it. There's there's some people saying it could top ten. I, I really don't. So things like this do not do all that well. Um, so I I, I really don't see it coming top ten. I, I finally, it deserves to be there. It absolutely deserves to be in the final. Um, and I say, I, for me, it's Austria's best entry since Conchita. So um, good on them for sending it. Overall, Austria performing quite well then with our little jury this year. Far better. I think they came second last last year with uh, with Amen. So this is a real turnaround. Good for them. Uh, do let us know whether you agree with our positivity or whether you think we're completely overblowing it. Comment, like, subscribe. If you do subscribe ding the bell thing jig you'll get you'll get told when we have videos do that um and also make sure you subscribe uh to us on instagram as well follow us on instagram at review revision to get all of our little posts there why not thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time